welcome to A Guide to Every Deck in Modern. Today we're looking at Martyr Proc and Soul Sisters. Martyr Proc and Soul Sisters are sort of aggressive white creature decks that utilize the life gain from cards like Martyr of Sands and Soul Warden to produce big beaters such as Sarah Ascendant and Voice of the Blessed, or simply win damage races against other aggro decks. While Martyr Proc and Soul Sisters aren't exactly the same deck, their basic game plans and cards are similar enough that I'm grouping them together. Martyr of Sands is one half of what the title Martyr Proc refers to, the other card being Proclamation of Rebirth, although it's been replaced by Abiding Grace. The deck can repeatedly loop Martyr of Sands or Call Me a False Hope with Abiding Grace to never lose to damage. Alternatively, Soul Warden and its ilk can gain much life over time in tiny increments. The Eos Rangers find small creatures, notably Martyr, Sarah's Ascendant, Giant Killer, and Walking Ballista. Squadron Hawk provides the fuel for Martyr. Path to Exile and Solitude act as removal. If the game enters a stalemate with neither player able to win by damage, the deck can recycle cards with Mist Veil Planes to win by mill. The deck is at its best against decks that rely on damage over time or in one big burst as their win condition, primarily other aggro decks. Obviously, this is Burn's nightmare matchup. Being mono white, the deck can include utility lands like Ghost Quarter and Field of Ruin to stifle big mono decks, which it would otherwise be unable to compete with. Additionally, because it's white, it has access to excellent sideboard cards. However, the deck is on the absolute fringes of modern playability and I questioned whether to cover it at all. I literally cannot remember the last time I've seen anyone play it. In general, life gain is valuable only as a buffer and is not a viable strategy in itself. This is because being ahead on life doesn't mean you're ahead on board or cards and because many decks can win regardless of their opponent's life total, such as Tron or Infect, or can simply establish a superior board state or resource advantage that will eventually push past any disparity in life totals. Depending on tempo and cards drawn, the deck may not even be able to outgain damage burst decks like Belcher or Storm. For Martyr Proc to be competitive, it will need additional cards that significantly benefit from or enable huge life gain. Thus, I'd recommend the deck only to those who enjoy its play patterns and not as a viable competitive deck. I hope you've enjoyed this look at Martyr Proc and Soul Sisters. I want to thank my fellow players in the Magic community for whom sharing their experiences helps make these guides possible. You can find additional resources, such as an up-to-date deck list, in the description. If you think I left out anything important or got something wrong, please leave your thoughts in the comments, and stay tuned to see what deck we look at next time.